Okay, uh, today I'm recording a video to show how to submit your paper to uh, NIH PubMed library. So this is very, very important because uh, if you get support from NIH grant, or if the paper is support from the NIH grant, uh, NIH require you to submit your paper to NIHMS, uh, basically PubMed, within three months of the publication. So otherwise, uh, you are not complying the requirement and uh, uh, probably get some penalty of your new grant, whatever. So uh, you need to make sure your paper get submitted to this place uh, within three months of your publication. So now let's see how can we uh, publish a paper. So for example, I have a paper here, okay? so. Uh, you can see my another video say how to submit your paper to archive. Okay, so this paper has been published by uh, TBME, but it's not being published in PubMed because you cannot see PubMed here. Uh, so it's very dangerous. So you need to make sure you, you got the paper published. So first, uh, you click submit paper. Oh, first you need to go to this website to register your account, I, I think you should have the NIH Commons account. So then when you go to my manuscript and you can click submit new manuscript, put the title here. For the journal, I think uh, they have already include all major journals and sections on, oops, and sections on biomedical engineering. Okay, so here is the journal. Then next, this is very important. You need to add the funding. So you search funding. Uh, the way you find the funding is that you can go to your uh, archive. Okay. So in acknowledgement, it should have some funding. Okay, so here is only one funding, so we can search this one, a word number. Oh, typically we need to click, make sure you add it. Okay, so you see the PI here. So this is only one funding, so it's pretty easy. And then go next. By the way, if you, you only need to include NIH funding, okay? For NISF, you don't need to include that. Uh, the submission is quite straightforward. You go to manuscript. Uh, you first need to download the archive as a PDF. So I download it. And I go here, manuscript. Just find the PDF I just download. So that's why submit to archive is very convenient. Now you have the archive version that you can directly submit to here. Okay, you can refer to another video how to upload to archive. Uh, once they download, upload, so you don't actually need to specify find the figures, tables, videos, you don't need to do that. You just need to submit here and then say main text, okay? Main, or you can say uh, manuscript, whatever. So it doesn't matter. So you put the name here and uh, certify next. So here is the important thing. So you want to have a reviewer, typically you just put it yourself because after they have the PubMed version, they will email you to uh, say yes, it's just kind of the proofread. But here you need to show uh, what time do you want to publish. If it's already published, we typically select e immediately upon publication. Say next. Okay, and they will see this and they say agree. Okay, then you are done. Later, after a couple of weeks, so they will send you the proofread and you finally prove and it will be available in. PMC, PubMed Center. So this is very important again uh, for your uh, PI, for your career, for your grant. Uh, make sure you submit to PubMed. Thank you.